Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to learn how to draw root locus and step response of a control system. And we use lab view, of course, to draw these two. Okay, like always, we learn this through an example. I read the example out loud and then uh, we go to the lab view and uh, make our program there. Okay, figure 15, uh, 56, this figure, this is our uh, actually closed loop system. And this is the response, a step response, time amplitude. Okay. Shows a closed loop system of an attitude rate control system. As it can be seen from the figure 56B, I mean this, there are high frequency oscillations in the beginning of the step response. These at the beginning. Besides, the set uh, the settling time is around 240 seconds. That is considered to be a slow. It is desired to eliminate the oscillations and to speed up the response as well, so that there will be a smaller setting settling time. As such, a compensator. A compensator controller should be placed in the system before the hydraulic servo. An automation engineer, after analyzing the system, suggests a controller with the transfer function shown in the equation 8. This equation, uh, sorry, this equation, this is the uh, compensator suggested by the engineer. Now you are to confirm this suggestion. Okay, use lab view to make your decision. Draw the unit step response and root locus of the control system before and after applying the compensator. Okay, let's make uh, the program. Actually, uh, uh, first we use lab view to make this closed loop system before applying the compensator control. Okay. Okay, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, this sh uh, our program should look like this here. Control panel of the uncompensated system. Okay, we want to actually define the hydraulic servo transfer function, then aircraft. We also want to uh, see the equation. Uh, um, the equation of all transfer functions and root locus graph and also a step response graph okay this is the solution have a look I explain a little bit then um, we go and make it in the lab view this is a uh, this is C CD draw transfer function the, uh, this uh, uh, transfer function here is for uh, making uh, our equation actually to show our equation and this is series it means that it put these two transfer function in a series then we use what we have here is the transfer function of our open loop system we know that for a uh, root locus graph we need just the open loop transfer function so actually we get a branch of our uh, wire here and we draw the root locus but for the step response we make first a closed loop system actually this is a feedback system with, uh, with, the, with the unit feedback it means yeah the feedback is just one you know, there is no a special transfer function in this uh, feedback okay and we connect this wire to our step response vi here okay i think but for 
making um, actually for the second part of our program which is dealing with using the compensator we need uh, also add another uh, transform function in series with our current uh, um, processes and transfer function it means what what we have here yeah it is shown here actually this is the current uh, uh, closed loop system we add the compensator transfer function here it means it is this transfer function is in series with this and this therefore we have if we want to also add the, the compensator we have to put another uh, of uh, this function here series and uh, uh, actually also another uh, cd draw transfer function to build our compensator transfer function and put the output of this and also the compensator transfer function in series okay there will be another series after this vi okay but we don't uh, for the second part we do not do uh, we do not use these instead we use uh, math of creep uh, what is, i always forget the name of this this is math uh, math script i show you uh yeah we use this and i show you actually you should be already familiar with the commands in this uh, script node uh but anyway i show you which commands you need to use in this node by the way if you if you have this text this picture is not correct completely because half of the picture uh, actually half of this box is missing you see here we have cs but there is no actually cs is not defined in the current picture we have in front of us also g i think g is in fact uh, the series of g1 and g2 and also gc and cs is the closed loop system uh, with the uh, unit feedback okay then we open up the lab view first we make this program then we continue to this one okay open up lab view blank vi oh sorry okay control t i go to control design control design i fix it here let's put it in this phase or so okay CD construct a transfer function we use it here we need I think now we need two of them okay then these will be in series oh sorry I go to mode model interconnection I found CD series because these two will be uh, put in a series. Okay, I need also CD unit feedback. I put it here because after that, basically, let me put a name. I go to my text to see the name. Okay, I have hydraulic servo. I have aircraft, I have rate zero, which is one, then I, didn't, I do not need to insert any, uh, actually, uh, insert any transfer function for that or to put any transfer function for the uh, feedback. Okay, I put, in, I put the name here. This is several. Okay, this is aircraft.
hydraulic servo I just wrote servo it's enough model 1 model 2 will be series actually will be put in series I don't know what kind of verb I have to use here and this actually now this is our complete uh, complete closed loop system I show you again one by one this is hydraulic servo this is aircraft they will be put in a series actually this part the output of this uh, VI is this part this is in fact 1 divided by S multiplied by the, this transfer function here okay and then we put it uh, we connect these to this VI which will be close the loop you can look it up uh, the help of these VIs and uh, actually read a little bit about uh, these functions and learn more about them okay now what I want to see is first of all I want to see the uh, the uh, actual uh, also the transfer function of these two and I also want to have the step response at the end okay if I create oh, oh no 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 close loop this no 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 okay first I uh, use uh, uh, actually I want to show you how to see the transfer function of these two, the equation of these two. Okay, again, in I'll show you again. This is control design palette. Again, in model construction. This is this CD construct transfer function model. But I want to have what? CD draw transfer function equation one here one here I think that's enough if you uh, if you like you can also insert another of these VIs to see the uh, the the transfer function equation of the whole system of the uh, closed loop system but I I uh, actually uh, uh, there is no need for that I think this part but anyway Anyway, if you want, you can do 